Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, this well-maintained uh, 2012 Craftsman Briggs & Stratton Quantum. It says 6.5 foot-pounds gross torque. It's a 190 cc engine. I would call that a six or seven horsepower, depending on which side the, of the earth the sun comes up on. And uh, I just sharpened the blade on it. I tilted it back. I'm doing this more now. Sharpen the blade, put it back. I'm not going to show you because it's hard to get at. So now let's just have a look at the filter. I just had my spur on my filter wrench out here, or my 5 sixteenths, and I thought, ooh, I better get the camera turned down. First time in. So that's poplar tree fluff, fluff guys. And look at the, the majority of the fluff is right where the air travels through and goes into the carburetor. Okay, so good thing we're doing a tune-up on this one. Uh, so the blade's already sharp. So now I'm going to uh, blow this out a little bit. I'm not going to blow the filter out. <coughs> Stick my finger in there if I can. Now let's take it over to the bench and start working on it. I'll turn you off until I'm ready. All right. Let's get that plug off. Oh. It's a 2012. Oh, by gosh. I don't even know what kind it is here. Let's just rub the dirt off it with my gloves. Champion J19LM. So there's no resistor in this one. So I'm going to clean it up and we're going to go uh, right over. I'm going to bring the bench grinder back in. Uh, oh, I might do it up there. I'm just going to clean this up on the wire brush on the bench grinder. And then we are going to clean this up and measure the resistance of this spark plug. Just for show and tell. Recording. Alright, here's our nice little plug. I've cleaned it up. It looks brand new now. And I'm going to measure the length, or the, or the length, oh my lord! I'm going to measure the resistance of this plug from end to end. So let's get you zoomed in on the meter. I'll tilt the meter a little bit. You should see an OL there. And then when we take a measurement of the spark plug, because it's a J19LM, not an RJ19LM, the resistance should be zero. So, zero ohms. Now I'm going to short the two leads together. 0.4 ohms is our base. 0.3, 0.2, good. And then we do the spark plug. Just a minute. Here, I gotta do a. I brought the file out just in case, eh? Just to get a little silver spot to measure the ohms on. Resistance. Okay. Try not to touch any of the leads because I get static when I do that. 0.5. So there's literally no. That's zero resistance zero ohms resistance on that spark plug and then to ground it's open and I cleaned it up so it looks she looks brand new stick her back in and now let's go back to wide and I, mo I lowered the lawnmower down because I'm gonna run it for a few seconds minutes Glaring mistakes today. 
I'm going to put the spark plug lead on right away. <laughs> so now let's heat up the oil. This has got a sharpened blade. We've got a new spark, or a clean spark plug. The gas is good. I checked the quality of the gas. It's perfect. And uh, I'll just start it up and let it run for a bit. Okay, I just turned it off, and I have found that if I use my uh, oil extractor, I don't get all of the oil out of these bridges. So I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. There we go. Just let that. Yeah. You hear the gas sizzle in the carburetor there. So we'll just let that drain for a little while now. Let that little happy little Briggs and Stratton drain for a little while now. All right. So, air filter, check. Oil, check. Uh, clean the plug. Sharpen the blade. Now it just has to be cleaned up and do a a little bit of a lubrication on some of the wheels and stuff and we'll be right back in one second it'll take me a few minutes thank you gotta love red eh I'm gonna bring her down and make sure everything still works double check the oil Just above the ad, which is absolutely perfect. Okay, we're done. Let's just start her up and see if it can run on its own steam. Don't forget, it's been tilted. Okay, what's wrong? Something's off? Are we flooding? So now I can't call until tomorrow. Then we'll be happy. Okay, there we go. That should start now. Hello, one sec. Well, that was fun. Uh, a guy was looking for a mechanic by the name of Darcy. I told you there's three cul-de-sacs or closes or whatever you want to call them all side by side here. And there's a guy who does cars right at the end in number 12 of the other close. And in this one, it's me doing small engines. So I said, if you got a broken lawnmower, I can help you. <laughs> so anyway, it's all good. We're going to wait for Lloyd's lawnmower to sit overnight and we'll call him tomorrow. Because I didn't like the way it started, it was flooded. It was automatic chokes, eh? They'll do that. Especially when I had it tilted on the side for quite a while and on its back. Next day test.
Thanks, guys.